I want to pick up a few questions from the assess on page 114, 115. Uh, a fancy question four is a grade E starter type thing. It says, which is the largest amount you must show while you're working? So I, I want to compare 45% of 30 pounds and I'll compare that with four fifths of 20 pounds. So which is the larger amount? Well, 45% of 30 is 45 percent of 30. Let's just lose that for a minute. Um, fives go into each of these things. So what do we got then? Five goes into there uh, nine times. Five goes into there twice times three. So I've got 27 over two. Um, that's going to be, let's just write it down, 27 over two. And that's going to give us 10, or I don't know, 12, 13 and a half well, it's just 13 and a half, but it's not a percentage, isn't it? Now, 4 fifths of 20, uh, that's going to be 4 over 5 times 20. So we're going to lose that. Cancel down as follows. Uh, 5 is into 20, you go 4 times. 4, 4 is a 16. So therefore, um, you've got to quote it quite clearly. 4 fifths of 20 is bigger. All right? Grady starts a question. Um, what have I got here? I've got one of these um, VAT things. Right, a plumber charges £460 plus VAT and the VAT is 17.5%. Alright, and work out the total bill. Well, usual technique then. Let's go for 10% first. It'll be £46. Pounds. Well, 5% is going to be I've got extra little zero floating around, isn't it? Good, is it? Five percent of four four sixty is going to be well, half of ten percent, which is twenty three, and the remaining two and a half percent of four sixty is going to be half of the five percent, and that's going to be um, eleven pounds fifty. Now it's getting a bit glitchy now again. Right, all together we have got well, there's the fifty p sorted six three one. That's a tenner. 4611, 4678, so we're looking at £80.50 uh, VAT total bill. We've got 460, add on the £80.50 all together. Well, there's the 50p, and we've got 0, 14 plus 1 is 5. Final bill £540.50 for one's plumber. Next page, oh, got loads of things done here from previous videos. Um, so we do it just there, shall we? Maybe add a few more pages. Right, like that. Go back a bit. There you go, like flashcards, aren't they? Right, next one. Too much to read, I'm not doing that. I think I'll do number nine. A bus fare goes up from 84p to £1.05p. And, and the question goes. What is the percentage increase? Well, from 84p to 105p, 16, that's 21p increase, isn't it? Uh, 84 plus 21 is one pound and five. Remember, it's the difference, which is 21p, over the original, which is 84p, multiplied by 100. This is a lovely little question. 21 goes into 84 four times, essentially a quarter of 100, and that's going to be a 25% increase. All right? obviously increased because uh, we went up from 85 to 105 so that's that one something about Christmas trees well let's just do that one then uh, it says here a parent association buys 50 Christmas trees and it spends 400 pounds on the Christmas trees uh, therefore I'm going to say each tree costs well, it's be 400 pounds divided by 50 bam bam that's going to come to uh, eight pounds each tree. Is that all right? Forty-five by five is eight. I'll probably need that later. And A says, this is part A on question ten. Quite a long question, really. There you go. Question ten, page one one five. They sell thirty-five trees for twelve pounds each. Work out the percentage profit on these trees. All right. So let's just work out the total takings. I've got thirty-five. Getting laggy again. I don't like it. So I've got um, 35 multiplied by 12, so it's 12 pounds each tree. Let's just multiply it quickly. 
two fives are ten, two threes are six plus one is seven, that's seventy pounds. Multiply by ten, five and three altogether, zero, twelve, four. Right, those thirty-five trees were sold for four hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, and only how many trees I have? Thirty-five. Thirty-five times eight. I'm going to work out how much they actually spent on these things. So here I go, eight fives. 40, 8 3s, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 280 pounds spent. And that's the price sold. Now I can do the question, work out the percentage profit on these. Right, profit, um, the difference over the original. Um, sold for that, spent that. So the difference is going to be, let's just work it out, 420, take away the 280. We've got there 140 pounds difference which is a profit isn't it in other words it's a profit because they've made some money on it so difference over the original they spent 280 pounds on those um, 35 trees multiply by 100 again mercifully that goes in there twice that's a half let's just cancel it down for you 14 goes into himself once and goes into 28 twice half of 100 is a 50 percent profit on those trees which is really good now the next bit at the end of the sale they sell off the remaining trees for five pounds each well, the remaining trees is the other 15 trees isn't it so what have we done then um, this is part B we've got 15 times 5 well that's um, 75 pounds that's the and how much they spent on that little thing there right 75 pounds but the cost of 15 trees is going to be 15 times 8 isn't it because we agreed that um, every tree costs 8 pounds originally 15 times 8 80 plus 40 120 pounds all right so what do we got there difference over the original the difference between 75 and 120 is going to be let's have a look um, 25 45 pounds so here we go 45 pounds difference over the original 120 spent it's clearly going to be a loss because we've not gone above 120 have we we're a 45 pound shortfall multiply that by 100 let's chop off a naught there um, unfortunately 12 doesn't go into 45 but threes work quite nicely uh, 3 goes into 12 4 times 3 goes into 45 15 times uh, I've got 150 divided by 4 I think I'm going to work just here I hope it fits I've got 150 divided by 4 well if you halve it you go to 75 if you halve it again you go to 35 let's just write it down anyway so 75 over 2 um, 35 37 and a half percent again just about achievable mentally right so in the first batch of trees 50% profit second batch of trees we made a loss of 37.5% and the final bit is um, what was the overall profit or loss uh, let's have a look what have we made um, we made 140 pounds profit and then we got um, that's not a percent is it yes it is a percent what's the actual loss oh there's 75 pounds and we got um, 75 pound loss over there is that correct just test that again cost that no the loss actually 45 pounds that was the absolute difference let me just change that to 45 pounds I'm going too quick for my own good really so 140 profit 45 pound loss so overall 140 minus 45 that will give us a 95 pounds profit overall all right and uh, I think I'll do the AQA exam question. Hope I've got time for that, and that the clock don't run out on me. Yeah, it's good. Andy's salary twenty-four thousand pounds. This will be my last question in this section. He's paid the same amount each month. That's good. He's given a pay rise of ten percent. That is just unbelievable. And then calculate his new monthly salary. You've got to show all you're working. It's a four mark AQA pretend exam question, right? So new monthly salary. Let's just divide by 12 first of all, um, because we want to see how many, how much you get every month. Well, 
12 goes into 24 twice, uh, therefore we've got £2,000 per month. We'll give the lad a 10% increase. Well, 10% of 2000 is clearly £200. New monthly salary, therefore 200, 2000 plus the £200 on top, it's going to be £2,200. And that is the way we rock and roll. Alright, so that's what the boy earns. Um, £2,200 per month after a 10% pay rise and that is the end of the assess gone a bit quickly, uh, sorry just look at the videos and study them and that's the end of part 8 as well that's the end of percentages as we know it without a calculator I will now stop and probably go to bed now so see you soon